And also tonight, 13 investigates exposes some information the IRS has been trying to keep secret. We have now learned the IRS is allowing millions of illegal immigrants to use Social Security numbers that are not theirs. The federal agency not only knows about it, the IRS is actually encouraging it to happen. Senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel shows you how it's resulting in widespread identity theft that impacts millions of people. The IRS knows about this and they're letting it happen? Yes. We're not allowed to say anything. Does the government know that you're blowing the whistle right now? Probably not. They've worked for the IRS for a long time, and they're risking their jobs to come forward. I love my country. That's why I'm here. These whistleblowers do not want to show their identity, but they do want to show how the IRS is allowing millions of people to get away with identity theft. Unsuspecting taxpayers have no idea. That's wrong. Absolutely awful. The problem is massive. It affects millions of taxpayers. And the IRS's official policy is to look the other way. You were told to ignore it? Yes. It's a crime. I don't care how you call it. It's a crime. More from those whistleblowers in a moment. But first, here's what they're talking about. Everyone who earns money in the United States is required to file a tax return, even people who are here illegally. So the IRS issues undocumented workers an individual taxpayer identification number, or ITIN. That's the number that goes on their tax returns. But an ITIN can't be used to get a job. That requires a social security number, which undocumented workers can't legally get. To work, many undocumented immigrants figure out a way to get a social security number anyway, a number that does not belong to them. In fact, it could belong to you. And therein lies the problem. At tax time, millions of undocumented workers send the IRS their I-10 tax return, and along with it, many send a W-2 that shows income they earned using someone else's Social Security number. The ID numbers on these forms, well, they clearly don't match. It's a huge warning sign for identity theft. But amazingly, the IRS accepts the tax return anyway and simply looks the other way. We are not supposed to do anything. Just let it go. You have to keep it quiet. Right. You've both gone to your bosses to complain about this. Yes, and nothing's done. So what's the big deal? Well, just ask Alfred Allen. I got a letter from the IRS. And Dave Burian. I received a letter in the mail from like, the IRS. Both of these men were accused of underreporting their income, cheating the government out of money. They said that I had falsely done my uh, taxes. The IRS wanted more money from you. Correct. In reality, Dave and Alfred are victims of identity theft. Undocumented workers got jobs using their social security numbers. It took Dave months to prove to the IRS that the suspicious income wasn't actually his. I had to make a uh, police report with the city of Fort Wayne. I had to make a police report with the state. I had to get an affidavit and sign that, send it all to the IRS, and then wait and see what their response was. Very time consuming. Alfred had to do the same thing. And while he was trying to clear things up with the IRS, he and his family were actually denied state health insurance because of the mix-up. I had to go months uh, hoping that my kids wouldn't get hurt because they didn't have the insurance. Alfred and Dave are not alone. 13 investigates discovered this government audit report. It reveals more than 1.2 million cases of suspected identity theft linked to undocumented immigrants who use someone else's social security number to get a job. That's 1.2 million victims in a single year. They really don't have a process to stop it. Russ Martin is the U.S. Treasury Department's Assistant Inspector General. His office has been warning the IRS about employment-related identity theft since the year 2000. It is a continued problem for IRS. This is a form of identity theft. It affects millions of taxpayers. The IRS is facilitating a crime. Why is this allowed to happen? I think you should ask the IRS. We tried that. For weeks, Eyewitness News asked the IRS for an interview. We even went to the agency's headquarters in Washington. But the IRS declined to meet with us. So we looked for answers elsewhere. And this is what we found. The IRS policy manual, huge, printed out more than 21,000 pages. 
Some of the manual is official use only, meaning it's secret from the public. But 13 investigates obtain some of those sections too, like this confidential policy, warning IRS employees do not disclose to the taxpayer that their social security number was used by someone else to get a job. And the IRS manual suggests that's not even identity theft. It says right here, an undocumented worker who uses your social security number to get a job is a borrower. That's right. Not stealing, just borrowing. Did you give anyone permission to borrow your social security number? Of course not. Would you ever consider allowing someone to do that? Absolutely not, no. Bottom line, it's wrong. It's, uh, it's theft. If you borrow something and that person doesn't know and probably wouldn't want for you to borrow it, that's not borrowing. That's stealing. Are tax filers allowed to borrow someone else's social security number? Hell no. It's stealing. You're taking something without that person's consent. That is stealing. Every day, you see this over and over and over and over again. And I know where the person lives, where they work. You're seeing who is stealing the social security number, and you're not allowed to say anything to anybody. That is exactly right. I'm not allowed to tell them. And the policy has consequences. It's really upsetting to hear something like that, especially since I've been doing this for four years. 2011 is when Alfred got his first notice from the IRS alleging he didn't report all his income. Now it's happened again. It appears the same person is still using Alfred's social security number to get jobs. And why not? The IRS allows it. That's only going to cause uh, more people to do it. Victims like these now get special PIN numbers from the IRS so they can file their tax returns more securely. But that's addressing a symptom while ignoring the real problem, that the IRS has documentation showing millions of social security numbers are being used illegally, and the IRS has no plan or strategy to stop it. That hurts. I think it's wrong. You gotta just hide something from the taxpayer, something like this bit. It's not right. It's not right. The IRS sent us a statement defending the term borrowers and saying the agency administers the tax code the way Congress has written it while dealing with huge budget cuts at the same time. We have the IRS's full statement and some of its confidential policies posted on our website right now. You can find that at WTHR.com. Okay, so let me get this straight. If somebody borrows your Social Security number to get a job, is there any way you can find out? Well, it's a good question. Actually, last year the IRS did a pilot study, a program to uh, acknowledge and to reach out to people in that very situation. But sources close to the IRS tell me the agency is stopping that because of budget cuts and it's too expensive. So right now your best bet is when you get your annual Social Security earnings statement, you get that once a mm -hmm. year, check that very closely for income that you don't recognize. That's a clear sign of identity theft and also check your credit reports very closely mm -hmm. so you can stay on top of it because if it's happening the IRS they're not going to inform you. Do anything right. about it. It's a huge problem Bob thank you and that investigation continues tomorrow night as well. Yeah you'll hear from some undocumented workers who use social security numbers that aren't really theirs. Does the IRS know that's not your social security number? Of course, you know, I think at the IRS they know. Do you think this is stealing? Uh, well that's all depends how you look at it. Well, on that part of the story, as we continue investigating the IRS tomorrow night at 6.